Hi, and welcome to Willis Garage. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I export my G codes from Fusion 360 and uh, take them into the Universal G Code Center. First off, I start by making a simple model. I want a square, like so. And I want a square inside the square, like so. And make some fillets in the corners inside like so then I'm going to extrude the outer square to 10 millimeters and I'm going to extrude the inner square to 5 millimeters this will give me a simple model like the one you see here uh, and good for me to show you how I make the G codes in Fusion 360 when you are happy with your model and uh, you want to carve this on your CNC machine or 3D printer or anything, you go to the CAM environment in Fusion. First thing you do is to make a new setup. In the setup you tell the program what kind of stock you have or original piece and you tell the program where Y axis, Z axis and the X axis is and things like this, and uh, what kind of operation you want to do. I'm doing milling in this operation. The first thing you see on my model is that my y-axis, z-axis and x-axis is all wrong. So I'm going to go in the orientation and select the y-axis and the x-axis. First off, it wants me to select the x-axis, so I select one of the, the orientations in the the x-axis, I want that to go this way, like so. And then it wants me to select the y-axis. I can select anything as long as it's oriented the way I want. So this is my y-axis. When I did that, you can see that this uh, changed and uh, got the z-axis up and down, the, the x-axis this way and the y-axis this way. That's just how I like it. The origin is where you want your uh, zero point to be. I like to have it on the stock box point and maybe take it to one of the corners so you, you know where, uh, where your machine is going to begin. This is very important in uh, when you're going to carve that you got the zero point correct. So be sure to mark somewhere you, you can find on your stock piece. If you go to the stock banner here you make the stock from solid and uh, here you mark your model. This way you see that the stock is as big as your model. So this is the easiest way, I think. Okay, when you're happy with your uh, setup, you check the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis and that you have the zero point on the, one of the corners or somewhere you know where to put the zero point in the real life. When you're happy with this, you press OK. Now we're going to make the toolpath. In the middle of this model you want to pocket out this uh, hole. So we go to the 2D toolpath options and you open one 2D pocket. Here you can select your tool. I uh, want to make a new tool here. I have a flat end uh, mill. And I have a tool that has uh, 8 millimeters in the tip and I press OK. Now I have the tool, OK. Uh, I have no coolant. I disable that. Down here you can change your cutting feed rate. That's uh, how fast the tool will go on the surface when it's cutting. What you put this to depends on your spindle, your machine, your stock. It depends on everything. The tool, everything. So I'm just going to keep it at 1000 millimeters per minute. And the same you have here, lead in and lead out. That's when the tool goes into your piece and when the tool goes out of your piece. You can put this to a lower value like 700, 700. The next banner here is the geometry. Here you want to select the part of the model you want to carve. So I'm going to pocket out this. Here you have uh, other options. I usually don't use any of these on this simple carving. 
In the next banner, you have the different heights and stuff. You have the top of your piece, is the blue one. You have the feed and ret retract uh, height. This is 5 millimeters over the stock. And the other clearance is 15 millimeters. All this you can change uh, down here. I usually leave this as is. For my CNC machine, this is okay. If you hover over any one of these, you get the explanation in a new window. The next banner is the passes. Here you can select the tolerances and I would like to put it on conventional milling. Here you can activate finishing passes, you can stock to leave. I take that off and I want multiple depths. I have a weak spindle on mine so I usually put this on 0.5 millimeters. That means it, uh, it goes down 0.5 millimeters each pass. Yeah, here I have uh, different options, so check them out. Linking, that's uh, how uh, your tool will uh, operate between different G-codes. The ramp is uh, how your tool will go down into your stock, into your piece. Hover over it to see explanations about that. I will leave this as is. Now when I'm happy with all my settings on the toolpath, I will click OK and Fusion will calculate the toolpath. Here you can see the toolpath is uh, 0 0.5 millimeters down for each pass and it will go down, 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 down. Yeah, all the way down. If you think you're happy with this, you can uh, go to the simulate option, put on the stock and uh, play the simulation. When you're happy with your toolpath and your simulation and everything, you can go on the, the 2D pocket here right click and post process. This is how you export the G-code. Here you want to be sure to have the right machine or setting. I have mine on GRBL. I have a GRBL powered machine from Arduino Uno. And here you can choose where to put the file and a file name. I like to name it so I know what, what the file is. Pocket. I have an 8mm tool, the feed rate is 1000mm per second and the depth is 0.5mm pass per pass. So here I know it's a pocket operation, I know it's, it has an 8mm tool, I know it's 10mm per second feed rate and I know it has a 0.5mm depth per pass. That's at least how I do it. Okay, when you feel you're finished with this, I'll just uh, put it somewhere, file. That's how you create toolpaths in Fusion 360 and export the G-code files so you can use them in the Universal G-code Center or any other program. There are multiple options in this area. In the next episode, maybe I will go in the Universal G-Code Center and tell you how to import and set the zero point and things like that. Have a nice day. Goodbye.